guys welcome back to my channel um <clears throat> i know you guys only seen one video lately and that's because i deleted the rest of them because i felt like i was repeating myself about the same old thing why i wasn't coming on camera why i wasn't doing this why i wasn't uploading so i figured every day that i'm off i'm just gonna record a different topic video or every time i'm going to work I'm going to um, record a car rant about a certain topic because I feel like that's what my channel started out to be and it also started out to be like a um, a review channel and that's what I'm going to go back to because I miss doing that and also I'm just going to throw out a few story times and be done with it and stop complaining on why I can and can't do something and just do it. But anyways, today I am headed to work like always. Um, I am in training, trying to get my own store um, where I can like branch out and do things my way instead of like, um, like always feeling like I'm stepping on somebody's head when I like do something. So that's what I'm going, that's what I'm working on now, and majority of you guys know that I'm not trying to make me working in retail my full-time job, uh, or even a permanent job, it's just uh, the situation that I am in at the moment, and so why not make the best of it, so that's what I am going to do, is make the best of a situation that I am temporarily in not permanent but anyways i feel like <clears throat> i really don't have a topic for this rent it just me clearing my head if that makes sense because i have a lot of thoughts going on and besides me talking to my therapist or counselor or however you want to say it um i just need like another outlet you know what i'm saying like I talk to my therapy about my personal life and what's going on and my thoughts and my feelings and all this stuff. But it's like, when I come out here, it's like I really want to just be, if that makes sense. So anyways, I have recently been searching for me an apartment. Um, it's a whole situation because I was staying in an apartment like months ago and Yes, I haven't told you guys what happened to that apartment. And honestly, it's really nothing short of a story, to be honest. So basically, I went in with the understanding that the the lease is, is, uh, is month to month. Uh, <clears throat> I paid the first and last month rent. Um, I also did a deposit. I also did uh, utilities up to three months and so on and so forth blah 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 thinking that I will only stay in this apartment for a year because I have like you guys I really have been putting in time and work on my gear plan that I have for myself and I really don't want to speak too much on that right now because you know I just want to show you guys that I can do it but anyways with this month to month lease I know what comes with it because um I was once in a month to month and it and it was sub leasing so I know what it's is consistent of so honestly I was paying everything until like the second month came and then the landlord I don't even want to call him a landlord he was acting iffy um and you know when you first be happy to get out and like I got my own place again, you know, it, it, it feels good. So something told me to reread this lease. So that's what I did. I reread the lease. Now when I reread the lease, I noticed like certain words was not changed. Um, it, it, when I read deeper into it, it's like he just printed it off. Uh, he changed like the name of the apartments somewhat throughout the lease but then I looked it closer it's like okay 
it seemed like this this lease was supposed to go to a different apartment. So then I looked up the apartment online because something told me to do a deep research, right? And I don't know, it was just the pit of my stomach telling me something wasn't right. So you know what? I listened and I researched the apartment and come to find out the apartment is not like real. Like the apartment is real, but it's not in the state that I live in, basically. Let's just say that. So when I entered the lease, entered the apartment that was on the lease, it also came up as an example of a lease. And the example of the lease like popped. So at this point I'm like, okay, either he's not really the landlord or what's going on. And I really don't want to call this an apartment. It's like a building that has multiple apartment units, if that makes sense. I forgot the name of it, but I mean, yeah, I'm going to say that. So, you remember that scene? It ain't even a scene. You know how Martin apartment was set up like it's an apartment, then you got an apartment number, then across the hall is another apartment with apartment. It was set up like that. So, anyways, I I brought it to my neighbor's attention because she brought it to my attention because we moved in together. So, well, not together, but at the same time. So I'm like, okay, something's weird about this, so let's find out what it is. So when I showed her what I came up with, she also showed me where um, the neighbor downstairs had the exact same lease, but it had a different apartment name on it. So therefore, we went to the courthouse because we wanted to know like who owns those apartments, what's the real name of those apartments, blah, blah, blah. So come to find out, the dude was not the person who was supposed to be over the apartments. It was supposed to be a whole different company. Um, and basically, he wasn't supposed to even be near those apartments. So basically, that's telling me that we gave our whole entire month's rent, everything to this person that's not even supposed to be in those apartments. So basically, um, they came. We we went to the leasing office, and we found the person, and we explained to him like, "Hey, this is what we came on." And then when I explained this to my dad, he said, "We should never went to the dude. We should have just took everything we had, either to a lawyer or to the housing authorities or somebody who can like look into the situation for us." And and, and not went to like face him like we were some damn detectives ourselves because you never know what he could have done to us and now that I look back on I'm like maybe maybe he was right well he was right not maybe but anyways we went to the dude the dude was trying to come up with some excuses on the paperwork were crossed and blah 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 so eventually I guess he I guess he didn't want us to take it any further, like, legally. So, he gave all our money back. Plus, he ended the, the lease. He had no other choice. He gave all our money back plus interest, which is crazy to me. If you didn't do nothing wrong, then why is you trying to pay people off? But me, being me, as long as I got my money back, every red penny, and I don't have to be held up legally, for a situation I didn't put myself in, then I'm not too worried. Also, the person, the the person that moved in on the same day as I did, she got her money back and all of that. Now, what I'm thinking to myself is the people that were staying there before us, like, did they get their money back or are they still staying there? Like, what's the issue? Because when I looked into that apartment thing, then like. I think that was two days ago, maybe three days ago. And the dude, the building is like completely shut down. Like, it's no one there. It's like, yeah, it's no one staying there. And like, the leasing office is like locked completely, like, boarded and doors and everything. So, 
I don't know what it is. I feel like maybe the person who actually, the company who actually owned the building is like in a different town or whatever. And they just came in and got their stuff. I don't know what the issue is. But uh, I'm just happy I got my stuff back because it could be worse. Like I told her, it, it, it could have went bad. It could have been where we were standing there three or four months and we didn't look into the situation and the dude just took off with our money. It could have been that situation. But now it's like, before I even sign a lease with anybody, I make sure I look into everything. And when I say everything, I mean I look into everything because you never know, like, you never know. So, anyways... I just, I don't know. Like, that was like an eye-opener to me. And it's like, now that I'm looking for apartments, it's like I pay attention to everything. I read the lease now. It's like, I'm just, I'm just skeptical of everything I have to put my name on. Even when I'm at the gas pump, before I even put my card in, I make sure that thing is not doubled or don't have a space. Because it's just too much stuff going on. And it's like, it's taking me real fast how much stuff is going on. And, and people just don't understand that it's crazy out here. And, um, yeah, that's one situation I've been trying to work on. Now, I'm not going to say that that situation kind of hindered me from recording. But I also picked up extra hours at work. And like I said, I am trying to get trained to do my own store. So that's kind of taking a toll. Well, not a toll, but that's kind of taking a majority of my time also. And plus, I have surgery in March. So it's like, get everything in line because, I mean, the surgery is not drastic, but I only can move around so much when I had this surgery. And the surgery doesn't call for me to stay in the hospital. It just... I, I might talk about it on down the road after I have it. But I think like when I had the surgery, it's like I can go back to work on Sunday. So they just wanted me to be out a full day just to make sure everything was straight. Because the surgery is at 6 o'clock in the morning. So basically 7 because I never heard of somebody. You, you show up at 6 but your appointment, I mean, your uh, surgery probably won't start to about 7.38. So, but if they do start at 6, that is crazy to me. But anyways, um, what else been going on? What else? What else? What else? I think that's it. Everything else is like, I started putting boundaries on the way people treat me now because... I'm, I'm, I'm at the point now to where friendships, relationships, any kind of business ships, all that stuff is like, I'm like putting boundaries on it because I feel like if I'm putting in all the effort, then why do I even need to put in more effort? You get what I'm saying? If the effort is only doing one side of it. And I, I can feel myself turning back into the old me where... I just started speaking my mind because at one point I was at a, a place where I thought about how people, how I would feel if somebody was treating me how I treat people. And that would kind of like made me want to change. But now I'm at the point now um, I'm changing to benefit me, if that makes sense. Because I was changing to benefit other people. But now I feel like it's time to benefit me. So that's what I'm doing, you guys. This is what I'm doing. And I feel like I'm going to be early for work, and I hate that, but I could take me a nap. So I have two jobs and two part-time jobs. So I won't say part-time. I'm say side hustles because, yeah. So because I don't do the part-time jobs every day. I just do it on the days that I'm out. Or that the days I'm working daytime and I'm off at nights. That's how I do it. So basically, I work at a uh, as a dispatch for a trucking company, and then of course I work in retail. 
I wouldn't call I'm gonna call this general retail. And then I do DoorDash and then also I do Instacart. Now I ain't gonna lie, I just started Instacart and I thought that once upon a time I might record me doing some of that. But I also understand that uh my editing skills ain't top part. So so I don't know how I'ma feel about that. So let me just ponder on that part. Um I think that's it. But uh yeah, I'm headed to work. Um and that's that. I know when I get off work, um I'm had to record a story time. I know I got three or four story times that I need to record. I have to record them because I agreed to it, so I'm going to have to. But anyways, what you guys been up to? What have you been doing? Um, I real life don't know if I have a schedule. Mm. I was thinking about Mondays and Thursdays or Tuesdays and Fridays. I real life don't have a schedule. I just feel like I need to put out at least two videos a week. Or either one video a week. One or two, you guys vote. One or two. Um, but I'm almost nowhere. Probably 10 minutes. Maybe 14 minutes from work. guys i hate when people jump in front of you and they speed up getting in front of you but when they all the way in front of you they go three miles per hour i never will get that i never will get that to me that is the most stupidest thing yep stupidest thing i ever seen in my life like are you kidding me But anywho, <laughs> bitch, you sped up. Don't pump at me. But anyways, um, what I was gonna say. I was finna say something. How you gonna swap at me and bitch you sped up? I couldn't. Anyway, let me get up off this thing. Pay attention to this traffic. Before I had to get out and whoop her ass. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video.